Hello, this is Frank Saline, and welcome to our pre recorded webinar on developing an agile business. If you're not familiar with third level consulting and business brokerage, you might take a minute and visit our website at www.third3rdlevelconsulting.com. If you're familiar with us, you know that we deal in the industries of gymnastics, swimming, cheerleading, dance martial arts, child care, and a few other related children's learning opportunity center industries. We have lots of different business services that you can take advantage of our long expertise and experience in the industry, such as the online best practices library, which is 2,500 document templates to help you with your management, your marketing, your staffing, your technologies, your financials, your risk and facility safety aspects as well as the inspiration over the long run. We have different levels of memberships and benefits from as little as a dollar or so a day on up with a variety of different benefits that you want to explore in the total access membership programs. We have business courses that are online, many of them available through your own associations, USA Gymnastics, the US Swim School Association, uh, USASF for cheerleading and several provinces and states in Australia and Canada as well. We also have business expansion planning services and business valuation services. If you would like to see who we recommend you might check out our success dashboard and our annual conference the Business Brain Trust Conference in May and November each year. The November 4th through 6th conference uh, is open now and the theme is business physics. We work with you on a lot of different uh, planes at your site, at our own site at the Wing Center in Boise, Idaho. Uh, we love traveling to your site. That's a great thing. Uh, we work online, voice and visual, and of course the Brain Trust Conferences. All right. In the month of July, our clients that are total access clients and third level clients were exposed on a weekly basis to several documents that had to do with business agility. Now we're going to review these briefly online. If you're a third level client, you already have these documents. It's about 12 pages and it has to do with completely with business agility. The first one was actually about summiting and using the analogy of a summit for business strategy. Setting the new standards to gather what you see here, the information and knowledge and wisdom to craft a vision that stimulates these changes and the fact that it takes a team. Breaking the goals down into manageable chunks is the only way to achieve them. And the series of small summits that you will make in an organized system like the third level consulting business grade system is far easier and generates far more success and feelings of confidence and success than trying to just imagine the big summit and how do we get there. Every big summit is just a series of small steps and small summits and you can do it third level has actually broken down the progressions of small business in terms of the same areas we discussed before marketing people technology finance safety risk inspiration etc so we have that and there it's not only one solution to every issue there's a range of solutions because we're all in different spots in our business history the business size the specific industry the issues um, are we at the beginning? Are we expanding? Are we growing? Are we maturing? Are we selling? What is it? So our solutions might be a little bit different. Aligning our daily work with the strategic objectives is the way that teamwork emerges and a synergy through teamwork that is not possible by working alone is one of the most gratifying things about being alive from a business standpoint and from a personal standpoint as well. The true satisfaction comes from the combination of both individual and team accomplishment. When a group of stars choose to unite in a common goal, they're hard to stop. The next document is a quick document. You won't be able to see the details of this. Our clients see it. But this is by Clayt Mast, the founder of Infusionsoft, who had identified these seven stages of business development from what he calls a solopreneur, a single entrepreneur, through to possible partnership or having a couple of people involved in the business to a steady operation to a local success story to a managed organization 
to a mature company to possibly even a corporate player. Now you don't have to become a high level corporation to be a corporate player. You just have to act like one. And that's really, really important in knowing that you can grow in place and solidify your inside systems almost limitlessly. Another document we looked at this month in July of 2013 was Tony Robbins' Seven Forces of Business Mastery. This is uh, kind of a new approach for him, but it's not new for third level. An effective business map is was his first point, and of course we use mind maps in both mind map and PDF format to map out almost everything from your organizational chart to your financial flow to how you use technology to how you organize your own life, uh, and it goes on and on and on. So the business business map is great. Our business grade system is basically that business map. A constant and strategic innovation. It's through webinars like this and the correlative documents that allow for that. We've got to be in constant strategic innovation mode. And uh, when you keep yourself, of course, uh, searching and seeking for better methods, newer methods, uh, simpler methods to communicate things to your own staff, better technologies, that keeps us on that edge world-class marketing and sales mastery these these two things are hand in hand marketing and sales are not the same thing uh, they're closely related of course and they kind of go back and forth marketing sales marketing sales internal external the whole bit but we do need to have world-class marketing and third level has made a science out of this the 12 progressive steps to having an effective marketing system to where your the money you spend on marketing is expenses is actually an investment. We want all money that you spend, whether it's on staffing, marketing, whatever it is, technology, to be investments, not just expenses. They better be. Otherwise, we're wasting our money. Anyway, you can see the other seven points that Mr. Robbins had, financial and legal analysis. This is our uh, finance smart, and we have some partners that are doing a great job here. Uh, we'll be recommending these in the near future. The legal analysis is basically the facility and risk analysis, the legal safety aspects, that's all going to be uh, dealt with in the Risk Assure Solutions online software application that will be emerging in another month or so uh, for commercial use. And of course, Raving Fan Customers comes from designing the customer service uh, experience and that of course is all part of our marketing uh, market smart process of business grades. There's some analogies you can use, and we went through this as well this month, uh, using kind of a an ocean analogy that many people are lost in the uh, in the sea of business or the details of business and if you're paddling around without any direction you need a GPS you need a business system thing and that of course is where the the business grade system comes in and all of third level systems come in another analogy to business and you see you many you've heard this before because I've used this for years now is the uh, racing car analogy whereby your management systems are the steering wheel, your marketing systems are the engine, your people systems are the pit crew, your information systems and technology is the transmission of the racing car, which is your business, the financial management systems are the cash flow or the oil that keeps things running smoothly, the facilities systems are the chassis, the risk management systems are the tires, and finally the inspiration systems are the fuel to move your operation forward and inspiration systems are last because if you unless you have a system for all the other parts what really are you inspiring another analogy might be a puzzle piece where you might have a million fragmented pieces of business because there's a million details in running a business whether it's large or small and none of them are unimportant as you well know but if they're just piling up on each other these puzzle pieces effective action is difficult if you can break it down into the major categories of business, the big picture takes shape and it makes more sense. Finally, we can put these, the pieces in progressive order and the puzzle comes together. That's what we've done again with the business grades. Or, if you're a dance school or oriented toward performing arts, you might look at it this way as a production, where the management team is the show producers, the marketing is the choreography, the people is the staff and the stagehands in the uh, production, the information is the program, the financials are the ticket sales, the facilities are the stage or lighting or props, risk management is the practice and rehearsals, and inspiration is the music. So you might look at that analogy too. A lot of different ways to look at business. It's kind of fun. In the end, 
There's intangibles that can't be seen in your business. What is seen is the cheer competitions, the swim results, a child swimming, a child and a coach, and the magic of gymnastics, uh, the magic in terms of uh, uh, of dance, of course, and a performance, the magic of martial arts, magic of a child learning something in a child care center. But that's on the surface. What's underneath is your systems, your product innovation, your brand, your structural assets, basically your business systems. So these things are very, very, very important. So in the end, all of those things above all go to go to your thinking in terms of being an agile business. Are you always ready to learn? Are you ready for the next stage? I keep searching and searching and it's the most valuable thing and the most rewarding thing in my business life is working with clients, working with associations, working with different industries in different countries and seeing the different ways that people are on fire and the way they express it through their teaching techniques, their business techniques and all of that. And of course we steal shamelessly from large corporations and then we basically invent stuff as well now that when the inspiration comes to us. So how do you become an agile business? Well, the MindJet Corporation, uh, producers of the Mind Manager software, have looked at the values of, of developing an agile corporation where they value individuals and interactions over processes and tools. So in other words, once your system is in place and you have good technology tools, your individuals and interactions then can take place, but it needs to happen in a system. They value working software overly, over overly detailed documentation. Third Level Consulting is now developing apps for a number of the different uh, business grades areas. And, uh, and we're stressing simplicity and tools for your people that will be terrific, including the Success Solutions dashboard, which will be debuting soon as well. Customer collaboration over contract negotiations. I really like that too. If you're negotiating a contract and you're down to the details, there's problems. You want to be sure you have a great relations with those customers. And responding to change over following a rigid plan. You got to have a plan. You have to have a business plan, which is what the business grade system is all about, a moving, breathing, living business plan. But we got to be able to respond to change. Uh, that's for sure. And they go on to list 12 principles of agile development as well. So anyway, I, I want to say thank you for joining us. I do invite you to visit the thirdlevelconsulting.com uh, website where, where you'll learn as far as the uh, organization, training, and growing the tools that we have to work with you, uh, which is the foundation of our success and the true uh, the true mission that we're on is to leave a legacy of business education in the Children's Activity Center industries. So visit the website. Uh, play the play the fun little uh, video here. Uh, take a free trial month if you like uh, in terms of our services. And uh, thanks for joining us. Take care now.